Next, what we're going to talk about is the product rule. So as you can see, we have 2x squared times 3x to the 6th. And uh, what the product rule basically says is you are trying to multiply things together. And uh, what we have is we have a like base. So as you can see our base, our base is this right here. It's our x, and we have like bases. So whenever we're multiplying like bases, we can use the product rule. The important thing that you need to know is the base is always going to stay the same. So if we have x here and x here, in our answer, we're still going to have a base of x. The exponents. Anytime you're multiplying exponents together, what you're actually going to do is you're going to add them. So if I have a like base, so x to the second times x to the sixth will give us x to the eighth because we add those exponents together. And it should make sense because x squared is really x times x, and this would be six x's, so when you multiply them together, two and six x's will give us a total of eight x's. Coefficients, what we're actually going to do is we're going to multiply our coefficients together. So the coefficient here of our base is two, here it's three, so we multiply them together. So again, just a quick little review, the base will stay the same, the exponents we will add together when we're using the product rule. And then uh, the coefficients we're going to multiply. So a quick little hint, we always do one operation below uh, with our exponents, and we always just do the exact same operation with our coefficients. Another example here, uh, this is one that's often missed, especially in my lower level classes, because when you have 2 squared times 2 to the third, what they would do is they would, a lot of them would actually get the exponent right. They would put uh, 2 and 3 will give us 5, but a lot of them will put 4. So they've actually multiplied the base together. Remember, the base does stay the same. And on a problem like this, I really wouldn't expect you to give me that answer. I would expect you to actually work it out. So you could have done 2 squared is 4, and then 2 to the third is 8, and then multiply those two together to give us 32 or gotten 2 to the 5th and found it to be 32.